Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Spotify playlists and how to get on many of them. So I'm sure many of you know by now, the fastest way to get many streams on Spotify is to have your music listed on playlists. So these playlists can be either created by Spotify or for individuals just like you and I. If you haven't gotten your Spotify for Artists page yet, please do sign up, it's free, and you can find all the information with regards to your analytics on that page. I'm gonna jump into my Spotify for Artists page and I'm gonna show you more. So over here, this is my homepage for my Spotify for Artists. And I'm gonna jump straight in to look for the playlist, which will be under the music tab. And I'm gonna click playlist here. And the first one you see here are the algorithmic playlists. These are by Spotify. And these are just based on the algorithms within Spotify. So you have your radio, daily mix, discover weekly. And these are editorial playlists created by Spotify themselves. And over here, these are listener created playlists. If I scroll down, you can see here they're listing about five different playlists. But if you look at the bottom here, this is only showing five of the 12,400 playlists that I'm on. So that's really a crazy amount. But this also shows you where's the best place to get many streams is to really focus on listener curated playlists. So these playlists are probably created by listeners who just enjoy music and want to compile their own playlists. So how do we get our music on these playlists? The easiest way is to find out who these curators are and try to find a way to contact them. And I'm going to show you an example. So we're going to be looking at this playlist, Relaxing Instrumental Covers. And here you can see it's by a curator called David Westin. So I'm going to click on it and it will load the Spotify page of the playlist. You can look here. This is by David Weston. So how do we go about finding which David Weston this is? This is going to be slightly challenging, but there are many small clues that you can use to try to hunt down this person and submit your music to this person to see if they would like to include your music in their playlist. At least over here, we have a name, David Weston, but they're going to be probably tons of David Weston. So if I click on his Spotify profile, now one big clue is you can see his profile picture here. So from what I know, many people like to use the same profile pictures across their social media platforms. If you search David Weston on Facebook or Instagram, you want to try to find that David Weston with this profile picture. So I'm not saying that this will definitely help you to hunt down every single curator, but use these tricks and a bit of homework and time and effort to find these curators. So once you have found them, for example, on Facebook, you can try adding them as a friend or sending them a private message politely sending them your music and see if they want to check it out and if they would like to include it on their playlist. This is no guarantee that they will either like your music or want to put it on their playlist. But if you don't try, you won't know. Personally, I have done this for many, many playlists. So depending on the genre of music you're in, for me, it was smooth jazz or instrumental saxophone covers. You can search on Spotify and find out all the playlists that are related to this genre. And you can find the user created ones and try to hunt them down. So in subsequent videos, I'm going to be sharing with you more tips and tricks on how you can get onto more playlists. But as you can see on my Spotify for Artists page, if we try to load more of these playlists, this 12,400, you can see the number of streams I'm getting from it. It varies a lot. So sometimes it's a few hundred, sometimes it's 40, sometimes it's 50, but every stream counts and it adds up to a nice amount. So as you scroll down, you can see some playlists are only getting maybe 12 streams and so on, but these are still amazing sources of revenue. Some of these playlists, they have added my music even without me knowing. One thing you can learn from this is just release your music. 
The more music you release, the more chances you have of someone from around the world who want to include your music in their playlist. So these playlists could be wedding playlists, studying playlists, or even people at a cafe. And if they add your music in, you can imagine if they're streaming your music all day, this is a very, very good source of income. These are a few small tips on how I managed to get on to 12,400 Spotify playlists. And in subsequent videos, I'm gonna show you how much this can help me to earn in a month. So stay tuned for more of such videos. If you like this video, do subscribe, click on the bell notification icon and you'll be the first to know of any new videos that I create. Hope you guys will have a good time and go and look for those Spotify playlists.